Okay, YouTube, this is a, a review of a 2019 or 2017 through 2019, I believe, uh, Gravely ZTHD. Uh, this is specifically a 52 inch cut, but I think they come in 44, 48, 60. Uh, you can get about any size deck you want to on this. So I bought this as strictly uh, to mow my, my few acres. Uh, I live in Texas, uh, a lot of Bahia Bermuda grasses, uh, pretty tough grass, the, the Bahia grass for sure. Um, so I bought this uh, probably just to make sure I, I wasn't unsatisfied with uh, any other purchase of one of the smaller machines. And uh, so far, um, I just wanna point out a few things that I've noticed. A couple of the things um, other people have noticed also, um, all around a good mower. I just, uh, but I've seen some reviews on these. Um, I just wanted to put my thoughts in. So uh, just so, I, I now actually cut a few yards uh, with this. Um, I'm not fully, you know, commercial or anything, but I do take care of a few yards. And overall, this is a great mower. Uh, it's got like 44 hours on it. So I want to cut, uh, this has got the Kawasaki, the 23 horse. Uh, I do have a hitch on the back of it just to haul brush. And if I'm doing an aerator, just to get the grass to grow a little faster. So uh, overall, this is a great mower. Um, you know, obviously five gallon fuel tank. I'm not going to go over a ton of the specs because I mean, you've, you've all, if you, if you've looked into these, a review, then you obviously know a little bit about this mower. Um, it does, they do have their own LED light kit, but I installed this uh, Harbor Freight one on the front up here. Well, um, and it does the job. The other ones I think come out like right in here, but they want a little too much money. I bought that on Amazon for like 35 bucks and then the wiring kit was, uh, I think 20. So uh, overall, this uh it does have the deck rattle that the 52s um usually have um don't really know how to fix that i have put the rubber uh grommets or the the washers underneath here just like some of the other guys have um there was one video out there where the guy made a point of saying that if this was the black tensioner um that was the one that they were having the issues with as far as making the rattle this thing still rattles and it still has you know quite a bit of play and uh in that when it's going so like when you kick it on i mean you're gonna hear some rattle i just it doesn't bother me that much sorry for the loudness there um I cut at about two and a quarter on this thing and it, it leaves a beautiful cut. There's nothing wrong with the cut. I took the limiter bolts out. It wasn't tracking straight anyway and I couldn't get it to track straight for the life of me. If you watched my other video, I've told you, or I, I went over the fact that the parking brake on these, sometimes from the factory is not good. It'll still roll or it'll even creep when you, when you throw that up. Uh, like when you're loading on a trailer or something and uh, so if you are having that issue just watch my other video uh, that sh You know it helped me. I don't know. You know if I was just lucky with it or not uh, I did replace the small uh, 190 cold cr cranking amp battery with a 250 it barely literally barely and this is a um, Tractor supply battery so a pretty generic battery it barely slides in there. You will not be able to put that bar over the cross of it, across the top of it whenever you do this. Um, not a big deal. I mean, the bar, I mean, it's not rattling or nothing in there. It's pretty solid. So overall, the, the seat um, is comfy, but I, I did buy this uh, track seat system that is supposedly supposed to work on Gravely. It said it on the website. It also said verify, and of course I didn't do that. And when I got it, the holes didn't line up. So if I continue to grow, I might have to get one of those $500 Gravely um, suspension seats. Uh, I really don't want to spend that much. For, for what it is, it's not a bad seat. It's just when you're on it for three or four hours at a time, you will start to get some, and I'm only 30 years old, so you know, I can handle it a little better than, than some, but uh, overall though, uh, it's got right at 44.6 hours on it. 
And the, the parking brake has been my really only my only gripe. The deck rattle doesn't even get doesn't bother me that bad. Um, I, I'm used to louder mowers anyway. This is my first, my second zero turn, but my first like true kind of a heavy duty one. And um, it so it doesn't really bother me. I, I doesn't. I know some people it really gets on their nerves, but I guess maybe people that live in residential neighborhoods. I live in the country, so it's not not a huge deal to me. Um, I did move, since I mow so low, I had to move the, the wheels up, the scalp, the anti-scalping wheels there. So I did bump those up in the, I mean, and there's even one in the back, in the middle. So if you're gonna do that, make sure you, you do them all because you'd hate to, to miss a few or, you know, think you got them all nailed down and, uh, and still end up scalping somebody's yard. Uh, I do have a problem with these, uh, these little deals here that are wedged in here to line these up because I cannot, for the life of me, get them to where they will actually be perfectly level and they end up, I'd like for them to be a little further apart. And these things just seem to bow when you start tightening them down. Let's see if I could, yeah, there you go. So you can see that's kind of wedged because um, I've tightened them down, trying to get them to work with me um not a huge deal i mean when you're mowing they don't actually intersect so uh let me zoom in on that real quick um this shoot is great it, that rubber is awesome uh you hit a tree you hit you know anything it's just gonna flap up it's good i, I usually keep it down until i transport it the tires are awesome um they will spin a little bit uh, and then this thing of course uh is one of the easier ways to um, you know, select your, your height. I haven't had any issues with that either. You just set it down or push it, you know, push it down, throw this back, and it's gonna go to wherever height you want it to. I haven't had to do much service. I did the oil change. Now, uh, I have the, the Kawasaki, like what was said earlier. So it does have that, that tube down there. Makes it pretty pretty darn easy uh, to, to do any type of maintenance on it. Uh, I haven't had to do much though. I mean, I'm only at, I'm going to probably start changing it every 40 hours. Uh, I blow out the air filter every, about every two or three uses. So it stays pretty clean. Uh, I try to keep up with this stuff. Um, do have a little bit of paint chipping down here. I don't know. I mean, I keep it in the shop here. I don't know if maybe, I don't know, humidity maybe. Um, but it doesn't, it's not bothering me too bad. I've had it for about two years now, two years in September. So they were running a 0% on these. So it was just kind of, kind of a really, my local Gravely guy, he's a, a super duper guy. So uh, if the 0% didn't sell me, I think he would have. So, uh, but all in all, I think I paid 5,300 with the 0%, you know, plus tax or whatever. And, um, and I really couldn't be happier. Um, I really, now that I'm starting to get a few more yards, probably would, would either buy a, uh, one of the top end models on the ZX or I don't uh, I don't remember what they're the Pro Turners or something. Probably would have spent a few more thousand uh, and kind of and kind of got that bumped up. Or I really started looking at one of the Spartan mowers and uh, they look they look pretty good. But overall, this is not um, and and I don't know some of these issues like the parking brake could have been. I don't know how they end up at the dealer. Like, do they come? with that already adjusted, or does that, you know, my dealer do that? I don't know, so I don't really know who to blame on that. Also, the pitch on the deck was a little bit off, but it's so easy to uh, to do this. Uh, you basically, um, you're gonna, the adjustment on it is, is super easy. So uh, it's just getting a level in there and trying to, to figure that out. Uh, it's a little time consuming, but uh, there again, overall, it's it's not, and it starts, usually starts right up. Um, let's see. All right, so uh, I hope this helps some people or, or you know, if you're looking at one of these, uh, do, not, do not regret it at all. Um, it's basically an Aaron's Apex, I think, or, or uh, I think it's an Apex. They're built basically, I really don't know why these are more expensive, to be honest, unless, um, 
I don't know. Sometimes you pay more for this sticker here. So I know I do. Um, but if anybody, oh, and by the way, the seat does adjust back and forth. It goes, uh, slides up and forward. I think they make an isolator kit for this seat. Um, which those isolators are starting to become kind of popular. Uh, I don't know though. I may have to buy the whole, I don't know, I'm not there yet. I don't want to spend like $500 just trying to get a more comfortable ride. But uh, yeah, I may end up doing that one day. So, but like I said, overall, and I bought this hitch on Amazon. I did not buy the Bradley hitch. I think I paid like 50 bucks for this. And uh, it's come in handy quite a few times. Uh, this thing doesn't do well. Uh, it doesn't like wet grass, even with the stock blades. I've, uh, I've put mulching blades on here, not a mulching kit, but I've put mulching blades on here before, um, just at the beginning of the season, uh, especially with the leaves we have on the ground here. Uh, I'm in East Texas, so I don't know. Uh, but the grasses here like to lay down, and this one actually does a pretty good job. So uh, if you got any other questions, uh, just, just comment on it. Um, but like I said, overall, anybody who buys this for the money that, that you're that you're spending, it's uh, it's not a bad decision at all. And I haven't had to do anything. And I just I run the Kawasaki parts too. My dealer here carries everything I need. So uh, I don't think I'll do anything else to this. If I do, I'll probably actually just sell it and and buy one of the bigger ones because I don't feel like taking a a, a uh, I guess a low-end commercial high-end residential mower and trying to make it what it's not so uh may just end up trying to get my money's worth out of it and, and just upgrading uh either with a gravely or or something else i kind of look at, i like the toro titans too because of the my ride seat uh, i don't know if y'all have seen those or not but they look really impressive um for comfort anyway i don't know about the cut quality or anything so all right well hope everybody's uh getting ready to start mowing and uh if you're looking at one of these uh you will not regret it it's just uh make sure you ask your dealer about certain i guess uh hindrances that that come up they i'm sure they've heard about them and, and i would hope they would be honest with you but uh and also fuel consumption on this thing is really good that kawasaki does not drink um too much it it, it does pretty well i can't really maybe a gallon an hour or something. I always fill it up before I go to the job. So just so I'm not, uh, we live in the middle of nowhere, so you're not going to find very many gas stations. So, uh, I usually try to do that anyway, but, uh, but all right. Well, uh, that's the end of the video. Like I said, if anybody's got any questions on it, uh, I'll be more than happy to answer them in the uh, comment section.